Well, let me just turn the camera on for a moment. I won't leave it on too long, just so you can see there's a, a real person. Here. So good morning, good afternoon, good evening, traders. I'd like to uh, welcome you here to my webinar on how to master the art of day trading. So in today's webinar, I'm not gonna hold anything back. That is, I'll show you the exact strategies that I use today trade a range of markets. And so, as you'll hear me discuss, is, and I think Gann famously said it many, many years ago that there's nothing new under the sun. So what you'll see very soon is that I'm very much a researcher and I love re-engineering um, re a strategy, reverse engineering to see how it really works. So the purpose of today is to really, um, uh, is to, give you the wow factor on what I can teach you and how to day trade the markets. Why? Because I want you to join as a member. Let's get that out, the, out of the way straight away. I'd love you to become a member of my live trading room and I'd love to coach you ongoing. The great news is you don't have to spend a lot of money to do that. But for me to earn your trust, I really wanna show you how it's done. So I'm gonna be going through quite a comprehensive PowerPoint because it's very, very important. I sh and it's not a big sales PowerPoint, it's really about how to trade the markets. And then we're going to be going live to the market. So I'm just watching CL and the ES today. So we will be looking at CL, oil, the black gold, the Texas tea, and the ES market. But what I cover today, you can apply to any market, whether you trade stocks, whether you trade Forex, whether you trade gold, it doesn't matter. As long as we got some volume and some volatility in the market, market the strategies will work. So what I'll do now is I'll uh, turn off the camera, <clears throat> excuse me, and we'll get into it. Now, if please feel free to type in any questions, but I will cover them at the end. Which, so we're probably gonna go a good hour and a half because there's a lot that you really have to understand. But what I'm gonna be showing you is a fantastic career opportunity. You know, look, it, realistically, one of the most common questions is, how long does it take to master the art of day trading? Well, anywhere from really 90 to 180 days. Yes, if you focused on, on one setup and you get the screen time in, you can really be trading quite, can I use the word fluently, or quite confidently uh, within 30 days, as long as you put the screen time in. And so uh, I'll be showing you which strategies you really wanna start with and exactly why, and why the strategies, the logic behind the strategies, which I think is very important. So let me turn the camera off. Okay, so once again, uh, welcome here. We got people uh, from all around the world here present, so welcome to everyone. And as far as the recording uh, goes, recording will be emailed out to you uh, later on today or early morning, your time, depending of course, where you are in the world. So. As we get underway, I do need to uh, pull up the disclaimer. There is a risk in trading traders, as you're obviously well aware. However, the CFTC and the NFA will have my head on a block if I don't put it up. Uh, if you're watching a recording, please feel free to pause the recording. The bottom line is traders, and it's never been easier. There's never been really an easier time to learn how to day trade the markets because now you can trade on the simulator until you get it right. And that's perhaps one of the most important things. There is a risk in trading. Uh, read the disclaimer in full later on. Now, what do I say make 2022 your best year yet? Because I'm gonna show you how to trade the markets without spending money on indicators, without buying, you know, really spending thousands on expensive software, save the money for your trading account. And as you're about to see, just about every expensive indicator on the market is really just, uh, it's really just another indicator that's been changed or renamed, it really is. And I'll show you that um, uh, in a moment. And as I mentioned earlier, what I show you here today, you can apply to any market, whether it be futures, Forex, stocks. Look, you can even apply it to crypto market. I don't talk too much about crypto. You know what? I'm still learning uh, how to really fully understand what the blockchain is, etc. But there's so many great markets in futures and Forex that really crypto is not high <laughs> on my list. So what we are going to be looking at is my blueprint 
where to start from. Even if you've got $100,000 worth of capital traders, you don't start there. You start on a micro or you start with three or $4,000 and you build from there. You've really got to earn the right to trade multiple contracts. And we'll talk more about that in a moment. The science behind really how to master the art of day trading, and there really is a science. Uh, as I mentioned, I'm a researcher, and I can tell you the process to learning, and we'll be talking about that as well. How to start with a small career, uh, sorry, career. <laughs> um, how to start your day trading career with a small account. Um, by the way, I don't run to a script, as you'll probably gather. Look, we're gonna be going through all of the key points, but very important, where we enter a trade, where do we actually decide to enter? Where do we place our stop loss? Where do we exit? And we'll be talking about some of the day, really the world's best day trading strategies and what makes them so good. I'll explain the logic behind them. So why should you really listen to me? I've been doing this for over 27 years. Fortunately, I've been in the really the financial position to be able to hire traders to work for me full time, CTA, software programs, and I've purchased just about every indicator or course out there and you'll have to excuse that little button that comes up. Actually, I might just turn it off for now. It gets annoying. So you don't have to go down this road. Here I am uh, in, in my boardroom here. Um, uh, you saw perhaps when I turned the camera on part of my library behind me. Um, I used to own, by the way, uh, a software program. We used to sell uh, software to traders going back 20 odd years ago. And I also owned a trader's library. That is, if you purchase my software, you could borrow books from my library. So you name it, I've probably already got it. But most importantly, and this is what I encourage you to do as well, take notes. I've been, as I mentioned, in this business for over 27 years, and I've got over 50 notebooks, just full, cram full of trading ideas, concepts, the good, the bad, and the ugly, my trading lessons. And likewise, in today's session, please take notes. However, we are going to be covering a lot of information, so you will be able to watch the replay. And very important, don't get caught up on something because that is one of the key things that hinders us when it comes to learning. If you don't understand a concept, you'll be able to catch up on it at a later stage. Now, also, this is a business, meaning if you become a member of, member of mine or if you're already a trader or perhaps trading full time, you've got to treat it as such. And hence, you'll see I've got research reports on just about every trading system or software package out there. So it's very, very important, traders, that you treat this as a business. Take notes, open up folders uh, on your computer. Now, as I say, and perhaps I shouldn't say it or phrase it this way, but you can't be half pregnant. If you want to master the art of day trading, or trading in general, you can't just kick the bucket and say, I'll give it a go. You've got to treat it seriously. Open up a folder, um, uh, folders on your laptop or on your computer, you know, on divergence trading, on indicators, uh, whatever it may be, the subjects, so that you really treat it professionally. Now, when it comes to indicators, if there was a better indicator out there, I'll tell you about it. The great thing for you is that just about the best of the best indicators are absolutely free. You get them on virtually every great trading platform for free. If not, there's a couple of things there you can Google and you can get them for free. There's no need to spend a fortune. And I've spent literally tens of thousands of dollars on indicators. You name it, I've probably already Got it. All our this is only from A going through to D, and then we've got strategies, etc. So there's just a ton of information there. <clears throat> Sorry, strategies and and indicators that I've already got. That I'll tell you in my opinion what are the best today. Now, I'm just standing up. By the way, I've got a standing desk here, and <laughs> I've got to get into this. So. What I cover today for newer traders can be a little bit like drinking out of a fire hose. And my job as your coach and mentor is to make it as simple as possible. And that's why I say that yes, I'll be talking about a range of different strategies and even indicators. However, you start off with only one or two, and we'll talk about that, which are the best ones when we get there. 
in a moment. The, mo the most important thing really traders is don't get frustrated if you don't understand something because that's what will hold you back from learning. Excuse me, one moment. I do a lot of talking in all my classes. Okay, uh, and so what we cover today is going to be a little bit like just touching the tip of the iceberg. However, the great news is it's not rocket science. It's really just about gaining the screen time and um, uh, really just sitting down, pen to paper, learning some simple basics. Now, one of the, really there's three cornerstones to what we do. And here is why most day traders fail. Number one is strategy. And, you know, someone once gave me these stats, and I really, after many years now, believe they to be true, that 5% of your trading really is only, is the strategies that you trade. Um, uh, you'll hear me talk a lot about trend following strategies. Until you're um, uh, consistently profitable, you must trade with the trend. Money management is second. And I still see every day educators and books talking about putting, you know, no more than five or 6% on a trade. Well, well, quite frankly, traders, that is suicidal. And I'm gonna show you some charts in a moment uh, on that. But a massive 90% really is head stuff. It's the psychology of trading. And, you know, it's probably one of the most challenging positions that I have as a trader's coach in dealing with my members uh, that have perhaps blown their account two or three times. The psychological damage that is done is incredible. So don't sweep that under the carpet. And there's some great stuff on YouTube, such as Mark Douglas, uh, Randy Howe. There's some really, um, uh, uh, some really good stuff there on the psychology of trading. And in my members area, which I'll briefly show you, I don't want to spend a lot of time on that later on, but I've just got a, a just a massive material there on the psychology of trading. In fact, I've even hired a uh, hypnotherapist who's recorded seven or eight tracks for my members. Uh, on um, hypnotherapy when it comes to trading, affirmation tapes, etc. A whole lot of information there for my members. So let's get into it and talk about setting some goals because it's absolutely critical that we set some goals when it comes to trading. Now I'm going to be showing you how we achieve these goals with the setups, which you'll see when we get to the charts soon. Uh, but it's very, very important that you have some targets, but we also talk about what I call realistic targets. And that is, you'll hear me say regularly, get rich slowly. Unfortunately, we still see all of these get rich quickly schemes that are being promoted when it comes to trading. And overconfidence is a great killer of your trading account. So I'm going to be going through some targets with you and I'm going to be showing you how you realistically achieve those targets. Now, it's also critical that you have a target because when the why is big enough, that is when you've got why you want to achieve that, why you, you know, what are you going to do with that five to 10,000 a week? The how will appear and it's absolutely critical. Now, earlier I mentioned money management. So this is one of the charts that you'll actually receive in a spreadsheet you actually receive. Now, there's a range of different markets. Now, I used to, until 12 years ago, I would I traded virtually uh, the Forex market full time. Now, I'm full time on futures for a whole lot of reasons, being commissions, there's no uh, market makers, it's a lot fairer. Um, there's, there's many, many reasons, but also it's about specializing. Become a specialist, okay, particularly for day trading. But what this shows here is the account size that you need to stay within the 2% rule. And what I mean by that, traders, is that we never, ever, ever risk any more than 2% on a trade, ever. If you do, I'll guarantee you the trading gods are going to come and take your account. They really do. It's so important. And if you can't afford, for an example, to trade the big contract, the beautiful thing is now you can trade micros. And so you could trade, and today we're going to be looking at the one and two tick on the big contract on the year, yes, but you can trade the micro where you only need $500 to start with. And I'll show you how you build that over a six month period. And look, don't be concerned, as I say to all traders, with the time that it takes 
time will pass anyway. You're better off starting off realistically, like say if you don't have 5,000, but you've only got you know 2,000. You don't wanna be trading this. Start off, double your account, and eventually you'll get there. And at least you'll maintain your account because what you also do, you're building both your confidence and your competence at the same time. So if we look at say the ES here, traders, and uh, with a six tick stop, okay? And I'll show you what that is when we get to the charts. You need around $4,000, three, 3,750, round it off at four. Or if you're gonna trade the black gold, oil, uh, let's round that off at 4,000 also. Okay, so I teach you and show you how you put this together. And we've got these templates on which markets you might tr like to trade the Euro dollar, the 6E. And we show you how much you need for that and all the other markets combined as well. Now, this spreadsheet here, you actually also receive as a member. Uh, and look, what I want you to assume is everything I show you, you because I don't want to keep saying you, you, you are receiving and it feels like I'm just trying to do a sales job. The bottom line is, this is really important, is that let's just say here, if you're starting off with $4,000, it's important you understand the logic and you make $100 a day. Let's be sensible and conservative. How this works, this spreadsheet is, you only start trading two contracts when you double your money. That is, you're earning 100 a day net, 500 a week, and it's not until you've now got 8,000 that you start trading two contracts. What this tells me is that by week 30, I have the potential of earning $10,000 a week. I'm only earning $100 a day. Now, what if then I up that, I'm gaining my confidence and I'm willing to say trade two, three, maybe four hours a day. I get up to 150 a day on a $4,000 contract, okay, and I'm up there within uh, uh, 18 weeks. Now, let's have a look what this shows us here. So if your target is 100 a day, how do we get there? If you're going to trade oil, you need basically two six tick trades a day, two scalps, that's what it really is. And I'll show you the setups that'll do that. And I'll explain the setups in detail. Uh, the ES, you need only two five tick trades a day. Now the ES and CL, they're chalk and cheese. Okay, they really are. The ES, um, you, uh, you've got three, four, five times the daily volume uh, than CL. However, CL trends beautifully. Now last year was a real challenge with COVID because of um, oil prices plummeted like a rock. Uh, but the good old oil days are well and truly back. Now you may trade uh, the MNQ, the micro NQ. You know, there's so many different alternative markets that you can trade. The bottom line is um, we only need two scalps a day and I'm financially secure for life where you can be at week 30. Now, do you know what I tend to find? Like I'm 62, I'm very, very financially well off. So I don't go for 10, you know, five a week is, that's all I need. You know, that's all I need. Now for the young guns in the room, you might be going for 20,000 a week and this is how you do it. And so it depends where you are in your life. But at the same time, I wanna say this to those that are perhaps are about my vintage. Do not let your personal skepticism or past bad experiences tell you you can't do this. Otherwise you may as well leave now because you can do this with practice. Okay, with the right strategies and setups. And there's no, you know, once again, there's, there's no hidden secrets. It's really about following the trend and using multiple time frames. I'm just looking at the market going off right now. Um, and I'll show you how that works in a moment. But as I mentioned, if you're after your 10 grand a week, you're there within 18 weeks. And the last one I just want to show you here, up to 200 a day, which is really what a three to four hour a day day trader should be achieving, okay? You're up to your 10 grand a week within 12 weeks. Now, there is a complication and it's this. If you're trading with a $4,000 account, say during New York hours, okay, it gets difficult because the speed of the market, because the, 
uh, one of the mistakes that, that day traders make is they're not trading the right time frames and, we'll, and I'll show you how we do that and how we estimate that which one you should be trading in a moment but realistically during the New York hours you're going to be trading uh, say between an 8 and a 14 tick stop loss your stop loss is critical so that means you're going to need between four and seven thousand dollars now right now we're in what we call the Globex session and there's just some fantastic uh, uh, trading during the Globex session, as you're, you're going to see. And during the Globex session, you can get away with a lower time frame or a smaller time frame because the market moves a lot slower. You've got more time to put your trades in, etc. So the size of the account can sort of dictate a little bit. Um, when you're trading but once again if you don't have say on the NQ and you want to trade a 16 tick uh, and you've got um, 50 tick stop 12 and a half thousand start with the micro or start with a number of micros build your account then you switch over now what about if you're going to start with a smaller account oh and by the way this is another spreadsheet that you have um, realistically how many trades a day to hit your target do you need to execute? In other words, if you're trading oil on this case, and I've just taken a screenshot of this, it's $10 a tick. Your commission is, say, $5. Should be a little bit under that. If you've got an eight tick stop loss and an eight tick target, and if you win 75% of the time, 75% of the time, just remember the setup called a 2B, okay? That will give you that and better. Uh, and your loss is 25 and you're after 200 a day, you need to execute on average six trades a day. Okay, so it's important that you know on average for your business plan, <coughs> excuse me, how many trades a day on average you need to be executing. Now, with that, if you want to be earning, say, your $5,000 a week and you really don't want to put a lot of pressure on yourself, is it, yes, I can show you how to earn the $500 or $1,000 a day per contract. However, what I've discovered is, after tr working with thousands of traders, $100 to $200 a day per contract, which is relatively straightforward. 10 contracts, $100 a day, gives you your five grand a week, which the majority of traders would be ecstatic to have now what if you start with a lower account and this is an email from one of my members just a few weeks ago on the 20th of January talking about the 2% rule and that is if you've only say got $700 and you trade either the ES or the NQ and if you go for just $20 a day now, let me also say this. Another way of looking at it is this. Say if you do have your five to 10,000 and you, you, you know, five to 10,000 for most people is still a lot of money. What you can do, you can start on the micros, build your confidence and competence, and then jump up to the big contract, okay? Because you start on a micro here, it'll take you 38 weeks, okay, to build your account to $10,000. Where are we? Oh, sorry, uh, no, it's a bit quick. Uh, 20 a day, just make sure I've got the right one. 20 a day, so when is that? When's my account here? It's at week 23, I'm up there. Now, it'll take me then, if I look at compound in here, 38 weeks. Now, let me explain this. $700 account, two, uh, just $20 a day. I'm up to 10 grand a week in 38 weeks. Now, what I do want you to know, see that 100? This is on the micro. For the experienced traders in the room, you wouldn't be trading micros. Once you build your account to 7,000, because a micro traders is 10% of a value. Okay, so if you were using a $7,000 account, you'd be going for 200 a day on that account. So, once you build your account, you can then jump over to start trading the big contracts. So in fact, there, you'd be trading 10 big contracts, not 100 micros. And you'd actually switch over way over here. And the reason for that is the commissions are lower. Where on a, a micro contract, you pay around a, 
you know, on average, a dollar ten to a dollar twenty. Some brokers are a dollar forty uh, per contract. Where on the big contract, which is ten percent of, which is ten times the size, you pay only around four to five dollars. Okay, so you're paying substantially more. However, it's a great spot to start. It's just part of the cost of your education early in your career. Now, gee, that's jumped pretty quick. Sorry, I went to the wrong area. I actually didn't mean, I meant to remove that um, uh, particular slide. Just while we're on this one, uh, I, was, I actually went to cut this out. This is Marty Swartz. Marty Swartz earns uh, 500,000 a month and um, uh, some call him Buzz. You know, what do you tell people to seek your advice? You always try to encourage people to think you're going into this business for themselves. Tell them, think you might become more successful than you ever dreamt because that's what happened to me. So anyway, I dropped that in there accidentally. It wasn't meant to be there. Now, what? let's just be even more conservative because remember, this is part of your trading plan. So what if you've safe trading has been negative for you in the past, okay? You've got 700 because by going for $10 a day initially, you hit your $10 and you celebrate. You go back to your simulator, you rebuild your confidence. Now on $10 a day, okay, once you hit week 32, you're gonna be up from 700, very up to your $4,000. Then you switch over to one of the big contracts. From there, 30 weeks later, you're up to your $10,000 a week. And as I say here, traders, in total, it's taken you 62 weeks, starting with only $700, going for $10 a day. And when you go over to the big contract, only going for $100 a day. And after allowing a month off, in one year and four months, you've got a life of financial freedom on only $100 a day. This is the reality. But unfortunately, most traders don't achieve this because they're sold on the dream of going for thousands a day with a small account. That is just not, that's just not realistic. So the big question is, can you really do this? Well, you can if you approach it from this way, and this is where the science of learning really comes in. And I call this the Goldilocks rules rule. And basically the Goldilocks rule states that humans experience peak motivation when they're working on tasks that are right on the edge of their current abilities. Not too hard, not too easy, just right. Now, as you're about to see, I've got a lot of different strategies and setups that I'll trade. However, it's important to note that when you start, it's important you do something that's just right. Now, for an example, in my trading room, in my coaching room, we talk about such a wide variety of topics because I've got traders that really too basic for them. But we we talk about the experience um, strategies, etc., and that's where that you make sure that you don't get caught up on anything. That is, you jot it down. If you don't understand something, you, you jot it down. You don't miss the forest for the trees. But we start off, if you're brand new, with one setup. And um, Linda Rasky, who I talk a lot about, Linda's been in the business for many, many years, since the early 80s, uh, as a trader, as a floor trader, etc. And as Linda says here, let me say the majority of professional S&P traders I know specialize in just one pattern or one trade style. And as Bruce Lee apparently said, <laughs> is that I fear not the man who's practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who's practiced one kick one 10,000 times. Now what that means is that you only need, and as you will see, one or two setups, that's all you need, but you need to master those setups. And as um, Linda also says here, intellect has got nothing to do with your ability as a trader. Success is not a function of how smart you are, how much you've applied yourself academically. What it does come down to is patience, discipline, and perseverance. That's really the key points. Now, as we get into some of the strategies, here's the rules of the game. Number one, we never ever risk any more than 2% of our capital in any one trade. So say on the ES, a six tick stop. Now today I should mention here, we're looking at Renko, but this Renko charts, but 
I teach you how to trade on the tick charts as well, but you can use time-based charts, volume charts, uh, Renko, you know, there's a, a lot of different strategies. Um, a range works beautifully uh, that you can be using. So today I'm just gonna keep it simple. And the advantage of Renko charts is that it smooths out price action. Now I use a combo of both uh, range and, sorry, of both Renko and tick because Renko can sometimes hide other entry opportunities that I may be looking for. But, you know, but I just wanted to point out for any experienced people here that uh, we'll show Renko, but it doesn't matter what market you trade. So you can see there, 2%, you never ever break this rule. We trend trade only. Traders, we've got this thing for really 99.9% .9 of traders want to always be picking market tops or bottoms. They you know, it's like they want to go out there and hunt. We've got to be um, uh, the sniper. We've got to lay back and wait for the trade to come to us. It's so important you trend trade only. And even then, when you do eventually, if you choose to start um, uh, trading counter trend trade, you halve the amount of contracts. But what you will find is that when you're combining uh, uh, true divergence trading, with trend trading, quite often you'll miss out on a trend trade uh, when because it's taken off while you're waiting for the counter trend trade to fail. So really learn to focus on, on really one form of trading I recommend. We limit the number of setups, pretty much what I've already mentioned, to a maximum of two. I want you to write down the 34B and the 2B. They're the two setups you really want to focus on. Both trend following, very easy to learn, very high probability. And um, you know, <laughs> there's, you wouldn't have to trade anything else but those. The next thing is discipline, patience and focus, and you've got to become a student of the market. In other words, it really, your education never really finishes. Okay, um, uh, you're always learning. And if you look at the, your best sports people, um, uh, you know, they have coaches, your best, um, really business people, they've got their coaches. It's so important that you keep your learning up to date. Now, I'm gonna quickly go past this one because I summarized it here on this one, is that how do I achieve 75% plus winning trades? Why make trading harder than it is? And that is really, trading seriously is a pattern solving exercise. We're looking for a pattern and that's something that uh, humans, as humans, it's very, easy to do and we're really good at it okay so we need to learn the patterns and the market has a memory these patterns are driven by human behavior they really are and so initially trading season we want to buy the dips and sell the rallies and the best way of me saying this is you want to go with the flow of the river we don't fight it you don't jump in front of a freight train and unfortunately this is what counter trend trading is a lot of the time now there's a whole lot of strategies that I teach and, and the reason for it is you do have different market conditions which require different strategies. However, the best one as I mentioned here is a 34B and the 2B. A lot of these others all work in sync with that, okay? And the other one is the T78, okay? As I'm gonna to demonstrate to you today and you can set these up on any platform. So with trend following, there's a range. Now your 21B, 3489, 200, they're all related, all trend following, all EMA bounces, but that's the way we trade them. We've got the rule of one, which we use only on Renko or the rule of two on range charts. What I do want you to notice here is the T28, which is what we call the pivot magnet trade. A brilliant strategy kicks butt nearly every day in any trending market, okay? Uh, you, you've probably heard of pivots, floor pivots. Um, well, what you can also use, which is just as powerful, and I'll show you these on the charts, open, high, low, and close, um, and also major EMAs for all of this. They work really well. Now, just a couple of charts from members here, because it's important that you have confidence that, um, uh, that 
yes, it's okay for me to do it, but can normal people do this? And the best way for me to put this is, is the concept of modeling or neuro-linguistic programming. And, and modeling is really about, if one person can do something, it may be a fluke, but if two or three people can do it, it can be taught. Okay, so this is um, from one of, and I don't even know who, which member this is now, but talking about the pivot bounces, okay, selling with the trend or buying with the trend into pivots. It's an easy to learn strategy, trend following strategy. Uh, here's uh, one member here, uh, Ray, you're right, pivot magnets kicking some serious spot. Okay, um, simple concept in just about every trading platform has pivots there, you can do this with. This is on the 34B, and this is going back to 2016, one of my members uh, getting 82% win-loss ratio here. As you see, just completed doing back testing in this case, pretty, you already knew, knew that, okay? And just a simple concept, a trend following concept. Another one, 34B picked up 75 ticks on the ES, and here, 21B, that's an 89B, that's an 89, or that's actually a 2B, that's a 2B. 34B, 34B, 21Bs. Notice they're all trend following. Uh, Rules-based, fairly easy to learn. And when I say a strategy is easy to learn, um, what you still need to understand, traders, is what constitutes a trend. Uh, what angulation is, that is when trend, a trend may be coming to an end. So look, there are some things you still need to pick up, but it's not rocket science. Now, we also need to know when the market is rolling over. Now, we'll probably point out some T5s. I want you to jot down T5. T5, as I think I've written something further along about that, is, is where you've got two time frames turning with two different things happening. Uh, it, it's just a great setup when you've got a good trending market. And I'll I want to show you that. So you've got change of market. Then you've got counter trend strategies. Well, you've got what we call not pivot magnets, but pivot bounces. And that is, there are certain levels in the market where price will bounce off them day in, day out. And I want to show you this because it's important that you know. And look, You've probably heard the saying, what you don't know can't hurt you. Well, it's just not true. When it comes to trading, what you don't know will drain your bank account. That is, if you don't understand about higher time frames and the magic numbers on those and how we bounce, which ain't rocket science, as you're about to see, but if you don't know about them, it's deadly to your bank account. But then you've got multiple time frame uh, divergences. Now, this once again, once you clearly understand it, it's not complicated at all. It's just, look, it's like learning a new language, but an easy language, okay? But a one, two, or a three D is when you've got either one divergence, two divergences, or three. There's, once you get up and running, you really want to be trading with three different time frames. We want to be trading in the direction of those time frames, and I'll show you how to do this today. But um, when you have divergence on all three time frames, that can be very powerful, pointing out a market turn. Now, for an example on this slide, um, here's a 2D, and here's a 2D, and this is a T10. All of these, these two here, um, uh, these are divergence trades where I've got divergences on multiple time frames. Okay, and all of those um, are $80 per contract, buy five contracts, same with up here. Now, remember a few minutes ago, traders, I mentioned to you about pivots and about the magic numbers on anchor charts. See this dotted line up here? This is actually called a midline pivot. Now, a midline pivot um, not every platform has it, but I'll tell you how to put it on there, is that you go and plot your daily pivots on your chart, and it's the 50% level in between your pivots. Very easy, and there's a technique I'll show you how to actually plot them if you don't have them and just mark them up with a horizontal line. Now, note how we bounce. Remember I mentioned about pivot bounces, PB, a few minutes ago? See our price rallied up, we then bounced, 
that's called a pivot bounce. Now, I want you to look over, we call this your anchor chart one. This is called your entry chart. This is your main trading chart where we execute all of our trades off there. This one is called the anchor chart one. Now, I want you to look here. By the way, see down here, you probably can't really see it. That's called a pivot, the main pivot. And we bounced straight off it, then we hit and bounced off the midline. Can you perhaps see why you need to learn where your pivots are? Now, see this here? I've got to bounce straight off the 200 EMA. Once you learn how to set up your time frames, there's a formula that we use from going from your entry chart to an anchor chart one to an anchor chart two. What you end up having is multiple EMA bounces, which are reversal points. And I don't even know now how I discovered it. I've got no idea, seriously. But what I discovered was years ago, it, you had different time frames with the formula that I use, which is a little different to others, that I have multiple EMA bounces and it just really increases the probability. Now see that down here, this is a 2B. I'm bouncing here, I'm bouncing here, bang. So up here it's a 2D, it, sorry, a 2B, this is a 2D, a bounce, that was a 2D. And so they're much higher probability reversal points. Now this here is what we call a T10, or some may call it an ABC pattern. I, look, I trade them, that one there I traded because it met a number of other conditions, but but it's, we talk about them, but it's not, um, uh, <laughs> what I was gonna say, there's, there's a trader um, called Dick Diamond, and Dick Diamond, his favorite quote is, is it an 80% trade? And if you said no, well, it's no trade. Now, T10s are not an 80% trade. They're probably 70%, okay? So overall, you don't even have to learn them initially. Well, you want to, because there's a couple other things, but you don't need to learn them. But this is what we call divergence trading. Now, see these black lines, and I may as well tell you about this as well. Oil is very unique, and uh, there are very unique numbers or turning points on oil that I call them magic. They're not magic, they're just floor traders have traded them for years. And even though there's no floor trade, it's all electronic now, so many trade them and we bounce off them. And so you'll see this day in, day out where we, where we bounce off these special round numbers on oil. To show you another one very quickly. Now, here's another really good example on divergence trading, but also a pivot bounce. See this here? This is what we call a pivot. So see we come down and we bounced on the pivot, okay, and away we went. Now up here, see here I bounced on 74, I bounced off a round number, and see here, this is called a 2B. I bounced off the major EMAs and I bounced on the higher time frame. But see our price then come down and see how I then bounced on the pivot again. All of these are rules-based strategies. They're rules, and you know what? There's no flipping expensive indicators to buy, all right? You see what indicators are? Virtually every single indicator, traders, uh, are what we call a derivative of price. That is to have an EMA plot or to have virtually any indicator plots, even the ones on the bottom here, price has to have plotted. One of the very few predictive indicators that you've got really are either your open high, low and close from the previous day, which is a standard indicator that every platform has, or your pivots. And the reason they're predictive is because so many traders trade them. And here's another example. Remember I mentioned about the, the, the magic numbers are bouncing off. Look at that there. Once again, straight off for 200. We see these every day. Now, moving along, very, very important that we keep it simple. Now, we're going to be going to the charts in a minute. Now, it's very important that you focus initially on two strategies, okay, being the 34B and 2B. Once you own them, you can add another. 
Now at the same time though, and this is where the learning curve to how to master the art of day trading can, can really vary because you need to learn what constitutes a trend. It's not rocket science, but you just, just takes a bit of time in learning that. What is divergence and what is angulation? Okay, very easy to learn with screen time. Okay, it's not rocket science. Now, when it comes to learning, uh, unfortunately, Mark Douglas is no longer with us. He passed away, but Mark uh, wrote the excellent book, The Disciplined Trader and Trading in the Zone. Now, The Disciplined Trader should be every trader's trading Bible, in my humble opinion, when it comes to trading, because he's, it's really about, as I said, the setups are easy, okay? But it really, trading's easy. Mastering the mind is the hard bit. Okay, particularly if you're not following the rules. Now, down here, here's what um, uh, Mark says here. To become an expert trader, basically, choose one simple trading system that identifies a pattern, preferably one that is me mechanical rather than mathematical. So you'll be working with a visual representation. What we're looking for is patterns, patterns that appear in the market each and every day that are based on rules, rules based pattern trading. That is what I'm talking to you about here, traders. And, you know, there's a whole industry built around mastering out of day trading that um, it's got to be extremely difficult. You've got to have, you know, $10,000 software programs or indicators, etc. It just isn't true, okay? What you've got to have is logical rules-based pattern solving exercises. Now, what makes the strategies work so well? It's important you understand this. Now, let's consider the logic between the T1, the T2, the T7, and all of these. These are virtually, the T1 is, a, is the white paint bar that you see on my charts. And I've got it for basically, I've got it for TradeStation, NinjaTrader 7 and 8. I've got, it, I've got a version of it for MT4 um, and, and other platforms. And what we're looking for is the super scalper to lodge in the direction, to, sorry, to, to plot, I should say, my apologies, in the direction of the trend. The T2 is called a slingshot, been around for 100 years. We want to be in the direction of the trend. The T7 is a double top or bottom with the trend. The 34B89, the ruler, all of these are trend, either following or trend continuation strategies. Now, you know, it reminds me of, um, oh, what's his name, Richard Dennis. Richard Dennis was uh, famous with the turtles, you may back in the 80s. He's actually written up in one of the first real books on trading um, called Market Wizards. And Richard used to tell everyone about the logic behind his strategies. And uh, um, he was asked by a journalist, aren't you worried about telling everyone about how you day trade and giving them the rules? He said, no, not at all. He said, I could probably probably um, publish my rules on the front page of a newspaper, but no one would ever follow them anyway. They always want to go and take something that's great and try to make it perfect and ruin it on the way. It's about following the rules. Now, when it comes to trend trading, and this is where it's still a lot of traders just don't get it, is that it's not about the quantity of trades each day you execute, it's really the quality. And there's some excellent books, you know, How Great Traders Made Millions, Up or Down Markets, Trend Following. Uh, Robert Miner's book is really good where he's talking about using multiple time frames. And then we go and take Jake Bernstein. Now, Jake Bernstein has been in the business for, for over 50 years now. And uh, he's got a concept. He calls it the, the eight period of the open and the close. Now, what I found, and he would use it on for day trading and for swing trading and position trading. What I found was that for day trading, it was too slow for us. It would get us in late and it would get us out late because the concept here is, is to really stay with the move. 
until you get a crossover of the moving averages. So I've tweaked it and it kicks absolute butt. However, is it something new? Not really, because the concept is originally I got from Jake, we've just combined it. And when it comes to the T5 strategy, all we're doing is combining the tweak I've made on it on the anchor chart and of the T20 on the entry chart, which I want to show you that because it does really well. Now, traders, there can be many parts to this. And I know I'm going through some of this because I don't want to give you any BS and I just want to get really to the points here and we'll get to the chart shortly. Very important traders, we've got to know every day, are there any red flag news? Okay, every single day. Um, and you know, remember the, the great coach, John Wooden, um, what John Wooden would say is you've got to practice the fundamentals every day. John would even, um, and of course, I think he was, even today, how many NCWA or whatever, sorry, forget, forgot, I'm down under, not in the US, but how many um, championships did he win? And by the way, he was once asked by a journalist once, how come it took you so long to win your first championship? You're so good. And he said, well, I'm a slow learner. But once I've got it down pat, I've got it really well. So every day we've got to be checking Econoday and Forex Factory for our news announcements. Okay. Um, now, as members, by the way, I've got all of the top websites um, uh, in a reference sheet. There's dozens of different sites you can look at. And if you trade oil, you've got to be careful you don't get sucked into the oilprice.com but it's good to see um, like um, when we've got um, the meet when they're all meeting etc because oil can get really volatile <clears throat> excuse me but one of the, the basics the fundamentals we've got to check our red flags every day got to know at what it margins our broker needs market volume what are the best trading hours now this is important traders because I know many of you are from the US there are three main market hours. We're in the Asian session right now. Um, and that is when New York closes, it closes for an hour if you're trading futures. Stocks, of course, is basically closed. Futures closes for an hour and then reopens. And it's called the Globex session. And of course, Forex is 24 hours a day, five days a week. Now, when it does reopen, it's what they call the Globex session. And we're in the Asian, which will then roll over in, in four or five hours time into the London session, which then rolls back into New York. When we're trading New York, we need a generally a much higher time frame on our charts, which means a larger stop loss. When we come roll back into the Asian, which is a great session, like right now, as you'll see when we get to the charts in a few minutes, there's some great opportunities here. And so even if you're got a job, um, uh, once you get home from work, have your dinner, then you can sit down and do some trading. And it's also a great time because the markets are slower to cut your teeth. Now, what's the best chart to, to trade with? These are all things that you've got to know. Um, your best chart time frame. Now, with time frames, and I'll just quickly show you this. There is a, oops, that's on markets to trade. And uh, when it comes to markets as well, I won't go through this, but you know, every market's got its own personality. Okay, but so there's a, a, a few things you need to know about the markets, but the big one is what's the best time frame to trade? Now, there's a formula that I use, which is a little, little beyond today's session. It takes about half an hour to explain, but we do use a formula that goes from our entry chart to anchor chart one to two, because what we're looking for is those EMA bounces. There's something magical about those. And, you know, it's probably been around for years. There's probably very few people talk about it. Okay. But you've got to know your time frames and your best. Now on the best targets and stops, let me just say something about this. I hear other educators or written books, you've got to have a two to one. That is, if you're risking $10, you've got to get $20 back. That's just not true, and it's BS. And I'll tell you why. If you enter a trade if you, as a day trader, and you've got to pivot four or five ticks in front of you, there's a high chance you're going to have what we call a pivot bounce. So you've, you really, you haven't got a hope in hell quite often under certain conditions of ever 
going through that. So to expect that is just unrealistic. Or as you saw, remember how we were bouncing on those couple of charts I showed you straight off for 200. If you're buying or selling into an anchor chart major EMA, you're almost certainly going to have a bounce. But what you can do is you can scalp that, still enter it, but no, you're probably going to bounce off it. And the same thing goes with pivots, okay? So you can't always go for that large target. Okay, um, what are the indicators? Where are the pivots? Look, just common things that you need to know. Um, what indicators do I really need? Look, I use a MACD, I use a stochastic, and I use pivots open high, low and close and moving averages, okay? If you're a pure price action trader, that is you don't believe, and some traders don't believe in stochastics or in MACDs, the MACD for me really is only about divergence. Your EMAs give you your trend direction, okay? So that's all you really need. And you've seen it, I've got hundreds of indicators, but virtually everything I use is on every platform. Where do I place my stop? And I'll show you this on the charts. Now, remember I mentioned about, do I have blue skies ahead? And what I mean by that, and this is important, if there's no pivots in front of me, no open high, low and close, no major EMAs, um, great, it's blue sky. I can go for my larger move. I can trail to my heart's content if I'm going to trail. But if I've got a pivot, open high, low and close, major support resistance levels or major EMAs, uh, the chance of me traveling without some sort of bounce, okay, is, is you know, is, is extreme. So you need to know where these are. And if like um, trading red flag news, like for an example, every Wednesday trade is 10.30 Eastern Standard Time, you've got the oil report comes out. And 10.30 on Thursdays, you've got the gas report coming out unless it's been a long weekend in the US, then it comes out on Thursday. And the oil report, the market dries up and the market goes absolutely crazy for a period of time. Likewise, last week and every month, we've got the CPI comes out. Now, of course, in the USA, where you hit 7.5% inflation, market goes crazy. You've got to understand your, your red flags. So, where are we? So let's go to the live charts, shall we? Let's have a look. All right, so this is where the rubber meets the road. Okay, what I've got here in front of me is three different charts. We've got, and this is on the ES, and this is a one tick. Now the one tick during New York, forget it, okay? This is a very fast time frame. Um, if you were, this is a Renko one tick, if you were say trading uh, a tick chart, you would have a 55 to an 89 tick chart up there. The beautiful thing about Renko is, um, uh, is it smooths out price action. So obviously you can look at that and see what a great trend we've got. Now remember earlier, I said to you that what we're looking at trading is, what were they? a 34B or the 2B. Now we're a bit late on both of these here, but see that just there. Now, this is our entry chart. This is our anchor chart one. This is our anchor chart two. Now, if you're brand new to trading, you may find that it's easy to start with two charts only, get that down, then expand to a third chart. Now, what I do is I have my chart set up like this, and I'll just drag it down, because I've got six screens, I've got multiple, whoops, why aren't you coming down? And so I have six screens, so I can then have my anchor chart set up above my screen, okay? So I'm looking at um, split two ways. So I've got my entry, my anchor chart one, and my anchor chart two is above. Now, don't let me lose you. If you're a new trader, once you have this explained properly, you'll, you'll pick it up. Now, see that, that line just there, that hot pink line just there? That is, uh, that hot pink, that's the prior day's close. 
Okay, so that's it. Sorry, the, the, my apologies, low. So the prior day's low. And see that red dash line there, there and there? These are pivot levels. See how we come up, we bounced off the pivot, we come down, we bounced off the pivot down here. Anyone here that's got some experience will know you also had a beautiful double top with divergence just there. See this channel coming down here? This is my T78. Now this time frame is actually what we call a anchor chart two. It's actually a four tick chart. What we're looking at doing when we look at an anchor chart, see these little black lines there? These are what we call Renko tails. On your lower time frame, you'd actually see a candle pull back, close back down. We're looking at taking trades in the direction of this channel. See this one just there. See how we had a red candle, then I had a green. See how it closed back in the direction of the channel? This is one of the simplest and easiest methodologies to learn in trading with the trend. Now, look at this here. Now, I will point this out, uh, just in all fairness. Now, just here, this is the open of the Globex session. Now, the market reopens at 1700 Central Standard Time. So, it closed for an hour. So, this is basically leading into the close. Now, see how flat everything is? When you've got a flat market, we just don't trade. What we're looking for is a fanning of the EMAs. Remember earlier, I also mentioned about angulation. Angulation is where you see price action angling away from your moving averages. Now, I haven't even got into what I want to show you today, by the way, but this is part of it. This is what you call angulation. There's a double top. There's a beautiful divergence trade for the divergence traders. But early in your career, you don't want to be trading those. Now let me move this back for a moment. And we'll just focus for, for now on these two charts. Now, I'm only going to execute two contracts here. Okay, so I'm only going to trade two contracts because I'm talking and I'm not really focused. So what, I, what I've got here is, uh, now I'm just about to get, now remember here, I could have three losing trades in a row. Just remember that, but we've got to think in probabilities of 20, and this is probably one of the most, I want you to write this down. We think in trade in probabilities of 20. Unfortunately, what happens, and ladies, I know this lady's here, so I'm going to swear. I'm just going to say, most people shit themselves, okay? They have three losing trades in a row, and because they're so hell-bent on their money, because they're risking 5 to 10%, that they go and have those losses, that they panic. Uh, traders, what you've got to learn is that you've got to, by following your money management rules and by trading with the trend only, Okay, thinking you, the individual trade means nothing. Now, I can see a couple of our members are in the room. You probably already knew what that was right there. Remember earlier I spoke about two Bs. Why is that a two B? See here and here. I'm bouncing off my EMAs here, bouncing and here. Now, we do want to watch this one, and I'll tell you why in a moment. This one here. Uh, is off a 2BD, off a 2D, I should say. Why is that a 2D? See how I've got divergence here, and see I've got divergence here. Now, divergence traders is when you have either a double top or a higher high on price, and, a, and damn it. Uh, let me just go and see if I can get a better fill on this one. Let me just see if I can get into this, because I want to sell this. Remember earlier I mentioned about the T10 traders? Remember, the, can you remember that one? I said it's about a 70% trade. There is a T10. Okay, so I'm now filled on this trade. Now, I want to just show you and explain a couple of things. So we're now live. So let me, whoops, uh, wrong one. Let me do this here, F2. Now, first thing I want you to write down, when you have a new lower high setup, 
like this after a major move, I want you to drop an arrow in or a trend line. Because when you have a market change direction, particularly after we have this sort of, see how we've had one wave, two wave, the probability increases of a market turn. Now, one of the best things you can do there to help identify, whoops, and let me just manage this trade because I'm about, okay, so that there is 62.50. I'm now $75. I'm now, uh, come on, come down. Now, what I'm going to do is move my stop loss. Whoops. Whoops. All right, all right, all right. Don't get your knickers in or not. Just move this down. And I'll tell you why I'm going to move this down. I, I'm trading two contracts there. So that was $100 there on two contracts. I went down and I was filled on my first contract. Okay, so on five, six ticks, I'm out. But see why I got out there. See why I pulled my stop loss down, yet my target was down here. But look where I bounced. See how on my anchor chart one, I'm bouncing here. See how I'm bouncing here. When I sold up here on my um, uh, ATM, which is coded into your trading platform, and it's easy to set up, I had my first target here, and my second one was down here. Now, what actually happens is we bounce at least once, probably 80% of the time. So once I bounced, or once I hit that, I knew I was going to bounce. That's why I wanted to bring my target down and take profits there. Remember on the other screenshot I showed you, we were bouncing off for 200. There it is, there. I think the other ones were, it was coming down. Here it's going up. So there are certain areas in the market traders where now just there we've got what we call, this here is called actually a 2D. Let me see if I can get a better price. Uh, let me just go here. Now, this is a higher risk one. I'll tell you that now. And I didn't get filled. I'm going to cancel it. And I'll tell you why it's a higher risk one. Is we could bounce again off this area. Remember that slide. The best way for me to put it is. Remember that slide traders where I said, do I have blue sky in front of me? Remember that just a few minutes ago? What's in front of me? If I short it here, what's in front of me? Actually, let's go back because on that, it's really important. Um, so do I blue sky ahead? Meaning, is there anything in front of me? Where are the pivots? Um, they're predictive, okay, and the main and midline, they're very predictive. Where's the open, high, low, and close? Where's the major support resistance? And where are the major EMAs? Now, just here, I've got major EMAs. Now, usually, uh, during New York especially, you'll bounce once, then you'll go through them. In the Globex session, which we're in right now, okay, which we're in right now, we will usually bounce off them maybe three or four times. Now, I'm just going to see if I can get in here because I've got a 2B just there, by the way. This is a 2B, and I'll explain this setup in a moment if we get filled. Now, see how we bounced, and now I'm going too far now. See how we've bounced again off this level? These areas are magic. They're simple, but we see them every single day, these areas of support and resistance. Every single market does it. If I was to remove the name of um, uh, uh, the market up here, it would apply to just about any market at all. So back onto this. This was what we call a T5. Why was that a T5 to begin with? Well, remember earlier traders, I said a T5 is a combination of something that happens on your entry chart and on your anchor chart. Remember that? See over here these black dots. These identify, and that black dot just there, that identifies my T78 rolling over. You can set this up on any platform. Now, um, the dot, uh, you can easily set up on TradeStation. I haven't set it up for that, but it's easy to set up. Uh, on NinjaTrader, I've got it there as, um, as a 
indicator you can set it up. If you're with some platforms that perhaps you can't have the dot appear, appear you're just waiting for them to cross over. But when I have a condition called a T20 sets up, just the pattern, that's all it is, and I've got a T78, after a good trend, it's a very, very high probability trade, very high probability. But traders, remember what I mentioned about blue sky. Now, I'm gonna show quickly show you this, uh, right here now, little lesson here. Now, see this just there. Now this may, whoops, I perhaps move put, should have maybe made it a bit wider. Let me just do this again. Now this works very, very well during uh, New York hours, not so much during Globex. This is what we call a channel of easy to draw, very, very simple rules. And it's this, see how I had a lower high with a lower low in between. And this is actually traders, how we identify, let me see if I can sell, see if I can sell this. Ah, shivers, no, I've still got that, that pivot. Look, we might, we might go through it and I'll explain why I jumped out of that. Um, see how I've got a lower high, see the white paint bar? Easy to spot. And see this one here, that's lower than that. This is how we identify the start of a potential new trend. Very easy. Do I have a new lower high? And do I have a new lower low? Yes. So what I simply did was to draw a channel in there and take it to the next lower low, or I could have taken it off that point there. Now notice here, coincidentally, we then went and bounced off that. I'd already drawn it to there, but look what then happened a couple of seconds later. Okay, we see this every day. This is nothing more than a pattern. Now let's just go back a little bit here. Now, remember I said to you a few minutes ago that what you do is you draw up when you get a new, in that case, let me expand the chart for a moment. See here how we had that lower high. Now, what about this one though? Okay, this is our first swing. You wait for your second wave. You could have drawn it in there, but very unlikely it's gonna work out. Okay, now what about this one here? Look at this major move. Now I'm looking for these new higher lows, but what else can you see there traders? What's that? See how I've bounced off the pivot. So pivots become what we call predictive indicators. We bounce off them day in, day out. Now, the reason I once again scrapped that, and this is why talking and trading is not really good, is that if I remove the, uh, the EMA there and down here, and I'll talk about this, what's over here in a minute, um, it's an automatic short for me. However, I've got, very strong support and very strong support. And if we look at the anchor chart too, let me show you this. See how everything is flat here, right at, <coughs> excuse me, sorry, the pivot. It's just not worth trading in this area. See this here, we've got a trending market, we're trending. When you hit sideways action like this, traders, just sit back and wait. We just want to wait for the trade, the trend to continue, okay? Now, there we had beautiful setup for a nice short or for T5. So what we're looking for now is for the trend to continue. Just one moment, everyone. Okay, now let's um, uh, ramp this up and look at what we call, I want to show you another way of trading these. Look at this, what's the difference between what you just saw there and there? Absolutely nothing except for the EMAs are colored. That is when I'm in an uptrend, I've got them colored. They all color the same way. Uh, oops, we're on the ES there, sorry. I'm just gonna get to the ES, here we go. So, 
for newer traders, some traders love this concept because what you're looking for here, and let me get this here and show you, and talk about making your trading rules-based, see, oops, and that's a two, I need a four. Let me just change the time frame on this just to make sure it's right for you. Okay, I need to make that uh, four and a two. Apply. Look, we could spend hours. There's so much I can, can show you here. But see uh, here, traders, see our price is now all green. So what do you think we're looking for? We're looking for long trades. See the white super scalper. Thank you very much. See the white super scalper there. But look at this. My candles are rolling over a turning red. So there's a reason why you don't take that. But Okay, so when you start to come down and you start to go sideways, what you want to see is all of your moving averages turn green again. See there how they're all green? See here, they're all green. So actually, at that point, you could have gone long. However, you also had that was against you, that little channel. Now it's turned, giving you a blue dot. Now you can go long at that point. Why? everything is green everything is green i've now got my channel has rolled over so there's multiple different ways we can identify these channels now back on the one i just want to see if we've got another trade there let me just um see if we can get a something set up here okay now we've we've broken out of that channel as you can see well and truly broken out of this channel so what would we now be waiting for so I've now got to go back to this so I'll just start so that's a one tick I've got to get back to the two tick which is that one okay <laughs> okay let me show you something here um this is where once again this isn't rocket science see that there to there see that there to there that's called a big picture double top now when you're looking at your chart like this okay see that there to there that's your double top this is where you want to understand double tops now you don't always want to trade them because once again counter trend trading is more difficult but you do want to be aware now just here sorry we do have a 2b setting up now i'm going to take this now i'm going to take this this is a much higher risk trade so I'm going to have quite a tight stop now why is this a much higher um, risk trade because you're coming off and now we just got stopped on that because we were coming off that double top so how can you protect yourself when you come off that double top well I want you to jot this down on your anchor chart one which is just here if you're going to go long you want to have your candles green if you're going to go long see how you had two green candles there here you don't want to take a trade until the candle turns green again now we are about to get another possible to be set up here right now now see how now i'm potentially green let me just quickly expand this now we're fairly flat here we are fairly flat here but let's have a look at this here and I just want to look I will take it and let me just start uh, put in I'm just going to put in a uh, let's see I'm just going to get 97 I'm just waiting for a candle close okay see if I can get okay so I'm in this now once again as I said we are fairly flat and I'll show you this on the anchor chart too. see that just here this is where we've got to be very cautious with our trading if we weren't in the room right now uh, that is if we weren't if I wasn't coaching right now I wouldn't take that trade why see how flat we are what you want to look for 
we call it a fanning of the EMAs. We want to look for a fanning of the EMAs. And a fanning trait is, is where you have your EMAs trending in the same direction. Okay, that's what we call a fanning. Now, on this one, let me just show you, there's a couple of things here I want to point out here. Normally, when we put a, a, an order in, what we'd actually do, we'd have our stop loss one tick below the swing low. So say if we had have entered a trade here, you put your stop just there. If you entered a trade here, you put your stop just there. Okay, over here, if you're trading this particular time frame, your stop loss will be one tick here, one tick above, one tick below. Now, what I have for members is when you're say trade, if you're trading the micro ES, we're on the big contract here. So, so if you're trading the micro ES, um, uh, it's one tenth the size. Okay, so this tells you how, and I'll explain what a step it is a moment, what your targets should be. Okay, it also tells you what your stop loss should be. So I have this sort of on all the major markets. Likewise, when we look, and here we've now taken off here. Now this is this is actually a 3B, by the way. <clears throat> okay, now notice that there. Now see how now I've gone to break even. Now notice this. See how I've hit my exit, but I haven't been filled yet. When we trade, okay, now we're uh, filled. Now look what we just bounced off once again. That is once again the prior days low. Now remember earlier I said that if you enter a trade, so if we had have entered a trade here, remember the question, do I have blue sky? If we entered a trade here, see how we bounce straight off it straight away? This is why it's important that you understand where your, where your major EMAs are or where your major support resistance levels are. You've got to know those. Now, Getting back to what sort of trade was that? That was a 2B. Why was that a 2B? Oh, actually it was a 3B. We were bouncing off multiple EMAs on multiple time frames, as we were back here, but we weren't on these ones. So remember before I said, there's two trades you want to focus on, your 34Bs and your 2Bs, okay? That's a 2B, that's a 2B, that's a 2B. And getting back in time, let's just have a look. That was a 2B. Now that was what we call a 2BD. Now what the hell is that? That's a 2B, but it was after major divergence. Remember earlier I said, you've got to learn what divergence is. That's why. Because if you enter a trend trade after May, and remember I shorted that, after major divergence, usually the market will fail. Okay, now let's just have a quick look at oil, shall we? Now, by the way, the uh, ES, which we we're just looking at, just there, is $12.50 a tick. A, a point is $50. There are four increments to a point. And here we've got once again, all of these reference sheets. And what you'll also notice for those that do become members today is that most of my documents I give you are in Word. And the reason I give you in Word is so you can uh, change them or add what other information you may wish to add, etc. Okay, now uh, back onto oil. Oil is $10 a tick. Now oil is unique and that is, um, uh, yes, there is a micro contract on oil as there is with the ES, the NASDAQ, the Dow, the Russell, but I really don't recommend traders trade it any longer. I really don't. And the reason being, it's not fair the way it works. There are market makers um, uh, trading it and really it is just not a fair market. In fact, just to show you something very, very quickly, just pull this up from session four coaching. And this, this is from last week. And I just want to show you this because this is critical. You know about these things. Um, see here it says CL, that's oil. 
On that particular day, there were 455,000 contracts traded. The micro oil, which is the MCL, there was only 75,000 contracts traded. So basically, what's that? Nearly 20% on the micro contract. But if you look at, say, the ES that day, there was 2,300,000 uh, 2, contracts traded. If we look at the micro ES, there was 1.6 million contracts traded. Not too far off. If we look at the NASDAQ, now the NASDAQ's really unique. Where are you? Uh, uh, here it is here, the NQ, 819,000 contracts traded. Look at the micro NASDAQ, 1.8 million contracts traded. Now, the point I'm trying to get across here is look how few micro contracts are traded on oil. And the reason being, it doesn't model what is really happening on the big contract. It's usually delayed. And so um, when you trade a micro, say on the ES or the YM or some of the other micros, they, they model the main market almost exactly to the tick. Okay, so you're really trading what the market is. With oil, it's not true. Now, uh, with oil, it's still putting aside, if you can afford to trade the big contract, it, it trends beautifully. Now, remember, I spoke to you before about the T5 trade. Now, the T5 trade and the market opened, I just want to show you this right now. And this is a mechanical trade entry. Okay, so if you went back over, if you know the rules to this, you'd have exactly the same. There'd be no difference in what I'm about to show you. Here is a T5. Nice way, see the arrow there? So we're relying on two things to happen. Something to happen on the anchor chart one. Thank you very much. And here, you're using the same stop loss or an eight tick stop loss. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Now here, what about this one? With this particular one, we were buying, this is our first wave down and we were buying directly into a strong down trending market. It was the first one. And you've got no divergence here. And it would have failed. The next one worked out. Why the hell would we trade this one? It's the second move off a very close double bottom. Okay, plus let's have a look on the anchor chart. It's important you see these because this is a mechanical trade entry, rules based. And the great thing is that uh, anyone can learn this. And this is where I keep getting back that, you know, you've got to spend a fortune on software. It's just not true. Uh, where were we on that trade? Let's just quickly go back to that. See this one here? So let me do this. Now, for those that understand divergence, this is exactly what you would have been, look, look else, what else you've got here. So just here, double bottom, okay, just there. Little bit of divergence, but over on your anchor chart, double bottom with divergence, and it is a pivot bounce. Do I have my black dot? Yes, I do. So I've got my crossover. Now I've got my arrow. Now, if you, you can code this in just about, I've only got it coded for Ninja Trade, but you understand the rules and it's really straightforward. Okay, and away we go again. Now, when's the next one I want to trade of this? After I've had two or three waves, here is the next one I'll look at. Now, my danger with this one is what? What is just below me? Yes, we could sell that. That's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. But what did we just bounce off traders? The 200 EMA. Remember that trade I quickly got out of before? I was bouncing. So what about this potential trade? Why would I be interested in taking this? Well, see just below here, I've got that 80 cent level. I've got that black line. Also, this here, is what we call a 34B. Can you remember earlier traders, I mentioned to you about the 34Bs, that a 34B is one of the top trades you wanna trade? There I've got a 34B, okay. Now, I see we've got still a couple of members in a room, I'm gonna finish up in a couple of minutes, but 
as you know, we also call that a T20-1. All it simply means, it's the first setup after I have a T20. That's all it means. If you don't trade the T20, it's your first setup that sets up after that, okay? So traders, all of these set up, and there, so there was your trade. Now that one there, I may not have taken, even though it was a nice winner. And let's just have a look. That was a winner, that was a winner. Here was your next one. Now, if you had have taken, see if you there, that's where it gets choppy. See that one there, you would have lost money on. That one there, you would have lost money on. This one here, you would have made money on. But what I want you to notice here is we no longer have the waves. So your T5 entries, have I had a wave? It ain't rocket science to see I've got a wave. Now, in finally, why is that important? Or how, how do you make money from that? Remember earlier I said to you, I was gonna show you how to make that $200 a day. Okay, so $200 a day on CL, the black gold that we're just looking at just there. Okay, how do we do that? Two Bs, why is that a two B? I'm bouncing off the EMAs in the direction of a trend. I'm bouncing off the EMAs in the direction of a trend. Now this entry would not have been till here. Now, your break even is gonna be six ticks. One, two, three, four, five, still in it. There's your eight ticks, thank you very much. Now, my over here, I had a T5. One, two, three, four, five. Well, here you would have been out. We call that a scalp, by the way. Remember, if you're selling, and see here, if you're selling into the 200 EMA for the first time, get ready to get out. Because you'll bounce. Now, here, if my stop was up here, that's fine. But you know what also happens quite often there? The market will bounce back in the other direction. Here is an eight tick move. Here is a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, here, we only just touched eight ticks. So what do you do? Uh, you probably saw, remember on that trade, that live trade I took on the ES, it hit my target, but it bounced off it. I wasn't filled. When you're ever, say you're doing your back testing or you're learning how to trade, you've got to allow price to tick through by one tick to really know you are what we call filled. If you don't tick by, through by one tick, it's not accurate, all right? Well, you may have been filled, but it's, it's also unlikely. By the way, do you know what that is there? That sign line, that's a prior day's high. Look how we're bouncing. Now, what about this one here? Can anyone guess what that is? That's a 2B. Why the hell is that a 2B? Do I have a trend on my EMAs? Yes, I do. Do I have three higher closes? Yes, I do. Am I bouncing off multiple EMAs? Yes, I am. Then I've got a trade. Thank you very much. Now this chop and slop we've got right here. Now, note here, I've got right there, that's the prior high. This is our EMA. If anything, if you wanted to be conservative, you only trade your two Bs. Well, where are they? That was a two B, that was a two B, that's a two B, that's a 2B. Why is that a 2B? Do I have the white paint bar? Yes. Do I have an uptrend? Yes. Am I bouncing? Now, the only thing you've got to watch these 2Bs is, are you going to bounce off that high? See how you're bouncing off the 80, off the 200 here? Traders, all of this I've just showed you is not rocket science. That's a, it's all a set of rules. It really is a set of rules. And I want to very quickly just spend five minutes showing you why you should become a member and why this will be the last program if you've ever invested in a trading system or strategy, why this will be the last one you ever have to invest in. Look, I can show you hundreds. I don't, you'll never see me and never hear me ask for testimonials. I don't have to. In the chat room, I just get these. This is from the chat in the live room. Love it, 200 per day, it's that simple. Uh, look, that's him saying it, okay? Once again, it's it's that's the trader saying, you're so right, doubled my account. This is just feedback from members in the room. This is from Mark. Um, six winners, one loss, 220. Um, here, uh, 20, uh, 
this is Jan, who's still a member. In 20, I started studying with numerous teachers, whatever. This is brilliant because it's the logic traders behind it. There's no sleight of hand. It's logical reasons for taking the trade. Uh, Robert here executed my first two B on CL within 40 seconds, made $200. Um, 5.50 on one. Con now, look what he was trading. Two Bs, 34 Bs and T2s, the slingshots. Uh, these are just screenshots sent in from members, just with their trades on it, uh, one after another. Ah, look at all these, two Bs and 34 Bs. That's Dave from Chattel, that's all he trades. Uh, John had his foot, John Yee, you'll hear us talk about the Moose Hunter, had his first 20 grand day a couple of weeks ago. Uh, and that's it, so just remember John, and this, this is John, he, he's been a member for years, he emailed me last year. I was gonna move back before COVID, back to the States. What am I doing, any useful points? Um, you like a breath of share, for a share because what I give you traders works. Now, what is the quickest way? Let me quickly go through. So it's what I call the inner circle. Traders, trading doesn't have to be like this. Initially, when you first learn how to trade, it may be a little confusing. You know what? It, it's just on, success is just on the other side of fear. It's not rocket science. Unfortunately, traders, you know, we live in this fast food type mentality where I want to get it now, or I want to have it now, I want to eat it now. You've got to give yourself that 60 to 90 days. So in my program, you get the Day Traders Fast Track program. There are literally dozens of videos, dozens of handouts. Um, you know, this is really the last, there's no other courses to buy. There's, it's got indicators. It's got, um, what I was gonna show there. Oh, I, I mentioned to you that um, I've had a hypnotherapist record sessions for my members. There's NLP sessions I've recorded. There's psychology sessions. Um, you've got all of the spreadsheets that I showed you. There's there's um, PDFs, as I mentioned, there's soundtracks there. Uh, dozens of videos. And by the way, you don't have to watch them all. You just stay focused on the training videos that are really related initially to, um, uh, to the main setups, the 34B and 34B. There are hundreds of marked up charts and examples, okay? On my Google Drive, there are, there, Seriously, there are hundreds of handouts. It's a gold mine. There's eBooks. There's um, there's indicators for Sierra charts, Trade Station, Ninja Trader. You know, there's all the spread. Look, I add to it all the time. It's massive. And I actually say to members, you've got to really mark down the, the these folders that you've looked into. Otherwise, you forget where you've been. Uh, research documents here on the trade setups that we we trade. As I mentioned, hundreds of handouts. Etc. Now, and when it comes to PowerPoints, dozens of power. I think there's 36 PowerPoints in total um, on virtually every setup that we have, and all and lots of them in the coaching sessions. Uh, scalping. This is just the handouts when it comes to scalping. Now, you don't need to read them all. I give you which are the main ones, but we've got a lot of what I call thinkers. There's reference uh, guides, checklists of the main setups, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Now, I mentioned you've got, you get all of the Excel spreadsheets that we've spoken about. And most importantly, in the coaching sessions, I show you how to use them. Okay, um, now there's a process to learning and it's ongoing coaching. So twice a week, I run two live two hour sessions every Wednesday, sorry, every Tuesday and Thursday evening, uh, six to 8 p.m. Eastern. If you can't attend, they are recorded. And that's where I answer questions from members. We look at the charts, we go through trades of a day, etc. cetera. Uh, and in there, I cover best time frames to trade. So in other words, if you can attend these, you just don't have to watch recordings. You can attend live. And you know, I cover the A to Z of trading. Now I've been running these sessions now for, uh, what's that, uh, four years, I think, since 18, 2000, June 2018, I've been running it in this format where I run these uh, twice a week. And in every session, guess what? There's more handouts and folders um, and PowerPoints, et cetera, in those sessions. And we cover every single aspect you can imagine of trading. Now, 
Then there's my live trading room. This is where, as I say, the rubber meets the road and what you just saw, but it's doing it live two hours a day, three days a week. Now, these session times are not going to suit everyone because I run them that really more to suit my hours, so it doesn't kill me. Um, uh, if I get back to the US, which we probably won't go back now, we've really well and truly settled here, just to be very straight with you, but these sessions are recorded. And here, this is feedback from members in a 2B stats for night, 13 wins, two losses, every taking every 2B or 2BD. I was short on last 20, oh, thanks, um, thanks Ray, ready to go for my job, four wins, this is just from, oh, this is uh, April. <laughs> this is, she says, I don't charge enough for what I do in these sessions. Now, really, in those sessions, it's, it's about learning live. They are recorded. If you can't attend the sessions live, now, the hours for the live session, where is it here? Uh, just back here. A 3 a.m. to 5 a.m., six sessions a month, and 5 a.m. to 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Okay, so they're of Australian evening time, if you like. But even if you just get up and do them uh, the, the three sessions or six sessions a month, traders, it'll put you way ahead of the pack. And they're always recorded. So there are three components to what I'm showing you, traders. One is the Day Traders Fast Track program with all of my indicators. The website, this is a $10,000 program in itself. It's too cheap, but I don't have a massive amount of staff, $197. Two, you got six months of private group coaching, coaching sessions. That is twice a week, eight times a month. You can get to attend. If you go to my website, it's 97 a month, which is 582. Uh, still so inexpensive. But then you've got the live trading room, which is 197 a month. Okay, so what you're getting is my main core program, the coaching sessions, and the live trading room. I've mentioned the hours to you there already. Now for a bonus for 10 people that buy, now there's only 87, 80, uh, 8 people left here for the first 10, I'm gonna up it to a year. So you can get 12 months of my live coaching in twice a week for two hours, 12 months of my live trading room, three hours, uh, sorry, uh, three two hour sessions a week, for only $497. Over my website prices, that is saving you $3,100. That's only $2.10 for every session. So $4.90 for the entire year. There's nothing else to buy. My indicators, every single thing is included. Now, if you're already a member, as I see I've got some members here, but I know you're not in the live room, you save a further $100. So it's only $397 uh, for the entire year. Okay, that's 96 two-hour coaching sessions and 144. Now, traders, <laughs> there's nothing like this globally. And as you can probably see, I'm passionate. I'm a researcher. I've been doing this for 27 years. Now, in my, and by the way, you're dealing with me. That is, I answer all your emails. I've got uh, three support staff, but I handle everything to do as far as your trading questions, etc. Now, just there in the, um, you can download the link to join. So once again, you will not see this on my website. It is not on the website. You go go there and you can join and pay the three thousand odd dollars over the year, or four hundred ninety-seven dollars. Um, the 12 months, including the Day Traders Fast Track program, so you can download the link from the Go to Webinar session. If you're already a member, there's a link that you can download here for 397, which once again gives you all of the same benefits. $1.66 for every two hour session. And on top of that, traders, I'm also throwing in the links for the recordings for the last 12 months of the coaching sessions, where not only do you get the coaching sessions, but the handouts of those sessions. Okay, so uh, you're getting the, basically all of the sessions from the last year, you're getting 12 months in the live room, 12 months of coaching, 
and the Day Traders Faster Program, $2.10 for every session. So traders, I won't keep repeating myself on it. There is nothing else like it. Ah, let me quickly answer the questions. My apologies, yes, I will. Uh, the white candle, yes, that's called the super scalper. So that plots, as soon as you get an uptick on the second can on the third candle, that will plot. Now, on Renko, you can also enter using the rule of one, which will get you in even earlier. So if you've got a trendy market, we get in earlier, okay? Uh, the best markets to trade, really, it depends on your account size. Um, if you've only got, a, okay, so I'm just reading, it's $1,200. Well, look, I would start, quite frankly, on either the NASDAQ, on the micro NQ, or the ES, or the micro ES, quite frankly. That's where I'd start. Uh, best charting platform. Look, I've gone from TradeStation over to NinjaTrader, which is a great platform. Um, I don't get paid from NinjaTrader a cent, I, but NinjaTrader is great and the commissions on their brokerage is fantastic. So I love NT8, but TradeStation's great. Um, some of you, um, of course, for those, you've either got to lease or buy the platform. MT4 is, is free. Look, MT4 is only really tradable um, uh, with uh, only really tradable uh, trading forex. Ah, good question. Um, with Tradevite, you can Tradevate. You can use basically every one of our uh, setups, except you won't have the super scalper, but you know the rules, and it's it's a pattern. So you can set up every indicator we've got there, except the super scalper. But when you know the rules to the super scalper, after you've seen it 50 times, it, you can see them in your sleep. Okay, so it's really straightforward. Um, yes, all PowerPoints are included, as I mentioned. Uh, just reading this one here, realistic time frame. Look, traders, I'm not going to mislead you. Give yourself that 60 to 90 days as a minimum. You know, I, I after dealing with thousands of traders now, I just get sick of the, the have this get rich mentality. This is a serious business. It's not rocket science. You can do this, but give yourself that 60 to 90 days. If you focused on one setup, the 2B, you will be able to see that in your sleep in 30 days. But there's just little things, you know, like what constitutes a trend? How can I identify a chain? So look, give yourself time, but you've got this whole package for a year. Don't quit your day job for three months, okay? Uh, no, you don't have to buy any indicators, okay? So I've got basically indicators for most platforms. If I don't have the indicator for your platform, um, you, you know the rules. There is, there's none of this black box crap, okay? Um, <laughs> where they say, I can't tell you because it's proprietary. I can reverse engineer just about anything nowadays and tell you what it is. And that's not being a smart ass, excuse me, when I say that trade. The fact is though, there's very little new stuff out there, really. Um, uh, uh, Lisa, so if you looked at Ninja Trader. Uh, you can buy that outright for about a thousand dollars, okay? So, uh, or you can lease it, which is about three hundred a quarter. And with your brokers, and of course, I, I've got to be careful here, because I can't recommend. I'm not a, I'm not a what do you call a licensed broker. But what I look at is, is my broker regulated? So, do I have a fully regulated broker uh, in either Australia, UK? Or the US. Now, Ninja Trader um, is uh, licensed, and so I used to be with TradeStation, they're fully licensed. And the great thing about the US brokers compared to, say, Australia or the UK, they are also the most competitive. And in the US, you've got the NFA and the CFTC now regulate the brokers, and all funds have got to be held in what we call segregated accounts. And the NFA now have login details of every single licensed broker in America, where they go and every week, they will go and check the account balances of brokers. It's fantastic. However, when it comes to brokers, you still don't leave all of your money with your broker. And the reason being, if God forbid, a broker went belly up, 
the liquidators will still freeze your funds and you'll still got to pay things out. So this is why you may notice here, see where it says NT, 60% and reserve. What I recommend to, to members is that you keep 60% of the required funds with your broker and you have the rest in your own bank account as reserve. Don't keep all of your money with the broker. There's no need to. Okay, and if you follow these, even if you have a, have a couple of down days, you're still well within your margin, can still trade, and you can top it up if ever needed be from your reserve. So there's a little technique and things we do there. But uh, say for an example, Ninja Trader, as far as those commissions, really is, uh, there's also another great broker in America called AMPS, A-M-P. Um, they're both very, very competitive, the best in the world on commissions. And that can make a, a big difference to you, it really can do. Um, so I think, uh, look, I think it probably answers all of the questions. So traders, come and join us. There's um, a once only payment, you've got me for a year. And by the way, you, you have lifetime access to the um, members area. And look, you just wouldn't probably want to download everything. There's so many things on there. There's nothing for you to ever have to uh, buy ever again. There really isn't. So traders, thank you very much for attending. Uh, uh, yes, um, you can. are you looking at doing everything, Alma, the whole program or just the fast track program? If you want to join it all, can you see the link there? So you should be able to, or just the fast track, you'll just need to go to my website. So um, I'm a day trader, Alma.com dot au and you'll see the buy now button up the top there so it's 197 dollars and so you'll get uh oh and yeah so you'll be able to get everything there so 197 dollars and my staff will send you all the links all the videos all that sort of thing so just go imadaytrader.com and right at the top there you'll see um the purchase Uh, no, okay, very good, thanks, Elmer. Uh, no, I'm not in Santa Barbara. No, I'm down in Australia at the moment. I used to live in Santa Monica, Chris. I used to live in Santa Monica, but I'm in Australia. Yeah, no worries. But I'll tell you who does live in Santa Barbara is Jake Bernstein. <laughs> he lives in uh, Santa, Santa Barbara, coincidentally. All right, traders, I look forward to having you as members. And um, so, by the way, for those that do join today, we've got our, well, we've got the live room tonight. And very important, when you first start attending all of the sessions, have a notebook, okay? Don't have a pad. And you've seen what I recommend all members use. And don't feel overwhelmed. Approach it this way. Look, there's a lot. So I'm just trying to pull these up. If you go to Staples, um, you can buy these 240 page the blue ones actually from Staples. You can buy these at Staples because pads, you, you'll end up with so many notes. You want to treat this as a business, like you're in research. You date your pages. And I go through this in coaching and it makes a massive difference. So we've got our live room tonight or tomorrow morning, your time for many of you are there. Um, uh, Angelo, no worries. Uh, look, we'll be sending out the link anyway. Sorry, we're about to wrap up. No problems, Angelo. So we'll, we'll send you the link anyway. Uh, so, and of course, in the morning tomorrow, we've got our first coaching session. But when you attend and when you get, because really, even when you join us, at, just get the Day Traders Fast Track program, you get this ton of stuff sent to you. Don't feel overwhelmed. Start by watching the videos in your welcome email. Attend the coaching sessions or watch the recordings of coaching sessions. Give yourself time, all right? You can do this, but unfortunately, the traders want to go like a bull at a gate. Um, they're the ones that lose their money. You can do this, traders. It ain't rocket science, but you've got to learn the patterns, okay? So traders, thank you very much and thank you for attending. Uh, we'll send out the link and I look forward to seeing many of you. Uh, yeah, thanks, Chris, in my trading sessions. Uh, thank you, Alma. All right, everyone have a good evening. All right, so remember that you can do download this, the join now document. 
uh, from the go to webinar or Elmer in your case just visit imadaytrader.com and you'll see the buy now button up there. Thank you traders. Cheers everyone.